Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to our fifth annual top 10 new resorts video this time for 2024. I'm very excited to share some exciting new properties with you all and give some opening dates. Some may be tentative of course, but I'll be sure to keep you posted on opening date changes and updates in my now twice monthly resort reports, which you can exclusively check out as a channel member beginning in January. So let's get ready to take some notes and get excited as we count down from 10 to one all the most exciting and promising resorts that will open in 2024. The number 10 most promising resort that will open in 2024 is Secret St. Lucia. This was formerly the St. James Club Morgan Bay property, and much of the construction and renovation focus has been on the state-of-the-art spa they'll offer, with six treatment rooms that will offer wonderful views, as well as the latest in hydrotherapy and wellness. Overall, this adults-only all-inclusive resort will offer 342 guest rooms, some which will be swim-out suites, five dining options, as well as five bars, which will be part of your inclusive rate, two beachfront pools, and even a wedding gazebo. And of course, all the usual extras you can get at any Secrets property, unlimited alcoholic beverages, 24-hour room service, and on-site activity and entertainment options. But perhaps best of all, in my opinion, a nice stretch of beautiful beach, very pristine with nice palm trees and great views of Rodney Bay. So that's all the info I have for now, but some things to note. The reason we don't have too many specifics is this project has been delayed quite a bit. It was actually supposed to originally open this month and now opening date is expected to be August 2024. So unfortunately, like we see all too often these days, that could get delayed again. I know it can be frustrating, but as always, I will do my best to keep you informed in my monthly resort reports of any potential delays as well as more property details in the future. Number nine, Princess Hotels and Resorts Jamaica. This is a huge and very unique project, you guys, sitting on 180 acres in Negril, Jamaica, and consisting of four separate resorts. So because it's such an undertaking, everything will be opened in phases. The first phase will offer over a thousand ocean view suites, and then phase two will add an additional 1,025 suites. So a humongous property. But the most important thing to know is that the Princess Senses the Mangrove property will be the adults only five star luxury resort. And that's expected to open on February 1st. So right around the corner, and it will offer 415 ocean view suites, as well as overwater villas to choose from, which is very exciting. Some unique features for the Senses Mangrove property will be a private island for weddings, over 25,000 square feet, so that's a wonderful amenity option, as well as a health and fitness center complete with spa cabins for relaxing treatments. And then the second main property that will be opening will be the Princess Grand Jamaica, which will be the family resort, and the expected opening date for that one is April 1st. The property will offer 590 ocean view suites, so a bit bigger. And the most exciting part of the Grand property will be the aquatic park, with pools, slides, and interactive play area for kids and families. And they'll also be offering kids club for ages three through 12, as well as a game zone. Guests of all properties will have a sports center, theater to enjoy nighttime shows and entertainment, as well as a tour and travel office to help with all excursions and tours, which is very rare these days. So that's nice to see. So I can't stress enough what a huge undertaking this property is. One of the biggest we've seen in a while, costing well over $500 million. And with a project of this size, of course, a lot can go wrong. But if it turns out as planned, it should be a really great property with something for absolutely everyone. Number eight, Montage Key Bahamas. So this is very significant because it's the ultra luxurious Montage brand's first ever property in the Caribbean. And it'll be built on the former Matt Lowe's Key property in the Abaco chain in the Bahamas, located less than a mile off the coast of March Harbor, where you'll take a quick 10 minute boat ride to the property. And surprise, surprise, yet another delayed project, but it's now on track to open in late 2024 as an 
all suite property offering 50 suites as well as a limited number of private residences. Each of the 50 suites will offer plunge pools, outdoor showers, private gardens, and separate lounge areas. So some very luxurious accommodations by the sound of things. Property amenities will include several pools, tennis, four dining options, including two beachfront bar and grills, a spa with cafe and juice bar, kids club for ages 5 through 12, and even a 47-slip marina on site. This private island resort will sit on 53 acres in an absolutely beautiful part of the Bahamas, so we'll be offering a recreation center as well, which will help with exploring all the local reefs and marine life. From the sound of the amenities and location, especially being a montage property, I'd imagine the nightly rates will be on the pricey side. But if you're looking for a luxurious splurge, I think it has the definite potential to be an amazing and very high quality resort. Number seven, Chablais Sea of Cortez. Baja, and especially the La Paz area, has definitely become a luxury destination area in recent years, and this new five-star property will be a big part of that. Announced in 2019, this property was unfortunately derailed by the pandemic and was actually supposed to open back in 2021, but it's now on pace to open in Q1 of 2024. Fingers crossed, right? But when it opens, it'll be one of the most visually unique properties in Mexico, with 50 pod-style suites in three different size options, and they almost look like sea creatures crawling toward the sea. Pretty cool looking. And the whole construction project is based on a branching layout, with each branch forming a central path, so that every unit is angled at 23 degrees and situated perfectly to have uninterrupted views of the beautiful Sea of Cortez. And talk about luxury, each suite will have its own pool and deck facing the sea, as well as a rear garden, which you can see from your room. Property amenities will include a huge spa, three dining options, event space, an oceanfront pool, and best of all, a relaxing private beach. Everything about this place will focus heavily on relaxation and nature, with a very secluded location surrounded by a unique setting of desert and the Sea of Cortez, with famous architects and designers hired to incorporate every aspect of the surrounding nature into each part of the resort, including the concrete roofs on each suite, which will be planted with local vegetation. If this property is anything like the Chablais Yucatan, I think it will be wonderful with an even more unique design and experience. Is this property for everyone? No. It might be a little bit too unusual for most days, but if you're looking for something different and special in the Baja area, I think this is definitely one to keep an eye on. Now to another brand that has an incredible luxury reputation to maintain. Let's look at something a bit different from the norm at number six, one and only Moonlight Basin. Everyone knows the one and only Palmilla Resort, which is one of the most acclaimed properties in the world, but now the brand is opening their first ever resort in the US, in Montana of all places. Yes, Montana, in famous Big Sky, and it's set to open the end of 2024, just in time for ski season. This is another property where views will be a big part of the design, as the resort will feature 360 degree mountain views bordered by big protected tracts of land. Moonlight Basin will offer 73 guest rooms and suites, as well as 19 villas, and will be connected by gondola to all of Big Sky's ski facilities. Inside, the design will feature local art, numerous fireplaces, and floor-to-ceiling windows throughout all common spaces. Property amenities will include a cutting-edge fitness center, spa, and both indoor and outdoor dining options, which will incorporate fresh local ingredients. And I truly think this area is a perfect location for a resort, especially for adventurous travelers who are also looking for luxury. You, of course, have Big Sky, which is a very popular destination for skiing and adventure, but you're also just an hour from Yellowstone Park, so you have so many activities to choose from skiing, hiking, fly fishing, horseback riding, golf, not to mention incredibly breathtaking scenery year round. So there's definitely a market for those seeking adventure with a nice dose of luxury. And I think this resort will be the perfect fit for that experience. And I'm very excited to let you guys know 
when it opens. Number five, Park Hyatt Los Cabos. You guys, this place was first announced in 2017. Can you believe it? And so many people got excited as it will be the first Park Hyatt property in Mexico, but it kept getting delayed and delayed. But now it seems like it's finally going to open in 2024 on 26 acres within the famous Cabo del Sol golf community sitting on two miles of beach. The property will feature 162 guest rooms, several dining options and pools, a 13,000 square foot spot with 10 treatment rooms, and even a beachside golf course. And a big part of the anticipation is that it will be one of the few luxury Hyatt Points resorts in Cabo. And this place will be luxurious, with competition coming from the upcoming Four Seasons and St. Regis properties. But I wanted to highlight this opening out of the three because I think you'll be able to have a very deluxe experience at a better price point with some fantastic property amenities. So after more than six years, let's hope that 2024 is finally the year for this exciting opening. Let's give you two properties for the price of one with my number four pick, Hyatt Vivid Grand Island and Dreams Grand Island. These two upcoming resorts will sit right next to each other in Cancun, Mexico, and both are expected to open in early 2024. Hyatt Vivid will be the adults only all inclusive property, while Dreams Grand will be the family friendly one. So, now to the specifics we have so far. Hyatt Vivid will offer 400 guest rooms and will include pool, beach, and concierge service, while the Dreams property will be a bit bigger with 616 rooms. Between the two properties, you'll have access to 19 dining options, and each option will focus on flexibility over formality, according to the brand, and will include taco trucks, ceviche carts, and a food hall. Additional amenities will include a 26,000 square foot spa with 25 treatment rooms, multiple pools, and a beach club. The brand also gave a hint about nightly rates, stating that they'll begin at a price point just below the collection's previous Dreams locations, which is interesting. Do I think that Cancun needs more mega all-inclusives? Probably not. But what this project does fulfill is the need for more adjacent sister resorts, where you can have more dining, activity, and amenity options for your all-inclusive rate, which has been far more prevalent in the Caribbean than in Mexico. And I think it's going to fill a really big demand in 2024. Number three, Rosewood Mandarina. The wonderful Rosewood brand is opening a new property on the west coast of Mexico in the beautiful Nayarit region, less than an hour north of Puerto Vallarta. The resort will have 130 guest rooms, suites, and villas with amazing views of mountains, beach, and ocean, which is rare. And according to the brand, the design and style will combine modern luxury and comfort. Amenities will include three bars and restaurants, including a specialty restaurant and sunset bar, as well as pool grill and beach bar. So nice variety. And you'll also have three pools, fitness center, and signature spa with 10 treatment rooms, as well as event space, which will include a ballroom. I'm especially excited about this opening because the Rosewood brand has created some incredible properties in Mexico. If you're familiar with the Mayacoba Resort, such a good one. But you guys, you want to talk about delayed resort openings? This project was announced in 2016, was supposed to open in 2019, and is now finally opening in 2024. But again, I have faith in the brand and that all that wait will be worth it when it opens. And now we're getting into the very highly anticipated resort openings with my number two pick, Moon Palace Punta Cana. Everyone has been waiting for this one for years, and it's going to be huge in every possible way, with 2,000 rooms located in an 18-story building, and two-thirds of the rooms will feature ocean views. Interestingly, they haven't been very forthcoming with resort specifics other than general amenities like 24-hour room service, diverse dining options, and the overall size and structure, which could be because we're still a year out, 
who knows? But if you're familiar with the Palace Resorts brand, I'm sure at the very least, all of the standard brand amenities will be available. 24-hour room service, beach service and swim-up bars, extensive dining options, and kids and teen clubs. And they're probably most known for their Kids Stay Free promotion for kids 17 and under, which families love, and fingers crossed that that'll be staying. But full disclosure, this family-friendly, all-inclusive property, which will sit on the beaches of La Costa del Coco, has not been without its controversy. Because of its massive size and location, there was quite a bit of contention between politicians, local businesses, and the resort developers. But that contention seems to have been resolved, and this highly anticipated resort opening should be happening the end of 2024. And number one, Zemi Meaches. I've been keeping an eye on this one for a while, talking about it in the monthly resort reports. It's definitely the opening I'm most excited for next year. So this will be the first all-inclusive curio collection by Hilton property opening in the Dominican Republic, just north of Punta Cana in the beautiful coastal town of Miches, which will provide a lovely setting of unspoiled beaches, mountain landscapes, and lush greenery. So just the perfect location for a resort getaway. Now, more specifically, it will sit on Esmeralda Beach and will offer 502 guest rooms spread across six four-story buildings, plus 18 beach bungalows, which is a really nice option. And of the 502 guest rooms, 123 will be swim-ups, which will connect by winding Lazy River, and the resort has said that that pool will allow you to swim to other property locations, which, let's be honest, is a refreshing change from most Lazy Rivers. Property amenities will include nine dining options, which will offer Asian, Italian, and seafood, as well as an all-day buffet, lobby bar, and sports bar. The pool complex sounds like it'll be nice and big and will include a water park and kids club, and adults can enjoy shops, a dedicated spa building with 10 treatment rooms, juice bar, indoor pool, and salon, as well as a nightclub for evening entertainment. So it sounds like it's going to be an amazing all-inclusive with something for everyone in a beautiful setting, making it my number one new resort opening in 2024. So I really hope this video gives you guys some planning ideas and even a little bit of excitement for travel in 2024. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye guys.